Good morning, YouTube. This is WackMed19, and I'm here with my mommy. Good morning. This is my mommy. Um, the gameplay, don't worry about it. Uh, she wouldn't let me record, so we're doing gameplay over it instead. This is the preferred route whenever you're starting Yemen from this direction, which is the correct or the best direction to be coming from. It's a demolition gameplay. I think we wind up losing the game, but I do rather well uh, when you're playing with randoms. That's about all you can do. So enjoy the gameplay, ignore it, whatever you'd like to do. Today the topic is... Places I've never seen at Magic Kingdom. Places Mama has never been to at the Magic Kingdom. And I say it like I'm an expert. I'm not. I've been to the Magic Kingdom maybe five times ever. Maybe six. I don't know. Something like that. But uh, I've, I think I've been to everywhere inside the Magic Kingdom. Everywhere that the public has access to. Uh, nowhere that the public doesn't. Um, not that I'm going to admit to anyway. Which is terrific. I've even been to the first aid stand. We are. Uh, we had to go there yeah. one year. That's and it's not my fault. Uh, and I wasn't working, and, and I still had to go. I know to the first aid stand. That came in handy. That did come in handy, and it's actually pretty close to the main gate there, so that you can work on it as you come into right off of Main Street, there to the left. Yeah, it was very convenient because. Her knee was busted up pretty bad. Yeah, it was. Um, so, places you've never been to. I know, it's hard to believe. I've yeah. been going there since I was 16, and I, there's still places I've never seen. They had electricity back then? Ha ha. Yeah. Um, well, what's the first one? Tom Sawyer's Island. I've never seen Tom Sawyer's Island. Tom Sawyer's I've been there. It's actually, this is one that it's okay that you've never been there because there's not terribly much to it now i get the feeling that they make it for people who don't get to live the way we do which that may sound a little bit weird but uh i grew up in the woods i grew up with access to uh, lots of trees i built forts in in the woods where you couldn't see any houses um i guess you were okay with that with me being out of sight most of the time <laughs> I, I had sent to be, the dog after you if I got scared. Right, and and I could always hear. I was always within earshot. That's true. If if you needed me, you could you could step out and scream or yell, and, and I could hear you and come in. And Tom Sawyer's Island is in the middle of Disney World. It's got the trees and the plants. It's got real trees, real plants. Um, that, that you get to walk through paths in the woods. And like I said, that's something I've always done. So it doesn't have that appeal to me. Now, if you're from, you know, the inner city, this would be completely foreign to you. So, so I guess that would have more appeal. Probably. Now, another cool thing that they've got in Tom Sawyer's Island is, well, first of all, you take a boat to get there. It's an island, which makes sense according to the name. And you take a little boat to get across, or a big boat, a fa you ferry across, uh, which kind of works with the story of Tom Sawyer. And you have to wait for the ferry to get off the island. It's a, it's a measure of discipline that we don't see as Americans, uh, really. And uh, the discipline of having to wait to do something, that's, uh, you have to wait to get off the island. That's kind of, that's kind of one of the You're deals. You're trapped. There. You're trapped on the island. Gee, I, don't, I wonder if they read the books. So, um, they have tree houses and, and forts and stuff like that on the island, and, and you just kind of walk around. It's There's really not so much to it. Maybe I've missed something. It, like I said, it didn't have so much appeal. So for not having been there, you really haven't missed too much. I tell you what, it's a really good place to relax. Are there rides? No, there, uh, I don't think so. I don't think there's any rides. It's just kind of a walk through and look at it kind of oh, deal. That sounds um, like fun. But you can spend time there in the shade. And in the cool, if you can get a breeze going, um, good spot to cool off. Just chill out. Shade is nice in Orlando. Okay, what's one of the other ones? The Hall of Presidents. The Hall of Presidents. Now, they have recently redone this. They had redone it whenever we were there last. It had been renovated or updated or, or whatever. Um, the Hall of Presidents actually debuted at the World's Fair. Uh, Walt Disney himself debuted the Hall of Presidents at the World's Fair. Th this is a it's a rotating room. Now there's a the Hall of Presidents is a circle that you sit in, and 
you sit you sit in a ring that has chairs, and inside the ring is a circle of scenes. Kind of like the Carousel of Progress. Yes. Maybe I'm thinking of the Carousel of Progress. I don't remember. Maybe I no. I've been to the Hall of Presidents, haven't I? I don't know. You know, we may have to put that one on the list because I'm thinking. No, I don't know. Somebody leave a, a comment in the, in the comments below. Leave a comment and let us know what what it is that I'm thinking of. We're gonna have to look that up. And either way, we'll uh, at least take a picture. If you won't let me take video of us standing in front of the Hall of Presidents. And, and since we can't take pictures inside, right? Oh, I don't know. I'm uh, they can watch me get in trouble. That's okay. And what are they gonna, we're gonna confiscate your knowledge, give me your brain. No, they may do it, they're a separate country. Okay. Anywhere else that you haven't been to in the Magic Kingdom? I haven't gone on Peter Pan's flight, and that may be because of the fact that I'm older and it's more of a kid's ride, I think. Now, I don't recall Peter Pan. We did do Peter Pan's flight with the boys. That may have been one that um, my wife and I split up on, and uh, she went on one and I went on the other. I don't remember the kids' rides so much just because they're not as much fun. They don't have the main attraction that some of the other rides have. So The Mad Tea Party does. The Mad Tea I've Party. I've been on that one. Have you now? Did you yeah. see... The video that we put up recently with the clips with uh, Devin yeah. where Melanie I recorded it. I haven't watched it. it yet. Oh, that's fun. You shouldn't watch it if you're pregnant. Well, I'm definitely not pregnant. Okay, good. I've never been on Big Thunder Mountain, and that's probably because it's a roller coaster. Big Thunder Mountain Railroad. Now, this is a fun, uh, fun roller coaster to be on. It's not so topsy turvy like some of the others. It's more of just fast, and the scenery is really different from anywhere you've ever seen. They actually do a really, really good job of making it look like a mining town, making it look like a uh, an encampment and, and the mines that go through Big Thunder Mountain. Um, they, they do a good job of mixing the water. I mean, it's Disney World. They don't do a bad job of doing anything. Um, it is a desert scene, and they do a really good job of isolating you from the other portions of the park right there and showing you the the big thunder mountain and and that desert like uh west texas and uh, new mexico type scene are so, you trying to talk me on, into going on big thunder mountain railroad that would be great i remember last time um you and dad watched the boys and my wife and i rode the you tried to ride it that, is that the one we got stuck on? They had they went down for maintenance, didn't they? No, it went down for lightning. That was when we only had one grandchild. Oh yeah, it was just the old and uh, lightning, which is silly. I mean, you're in Florida, and you may not have lightning where you live, but we've got plenty of it here, and it's. Uh, they shut the park down early that night. Yeah, they, but you know whatever. So we will definitely hit these places up, and that will be. Really cool. We'll get some at least pictures to put on and show everybody that we filled the bucket list. And the bucket list is much bigger than this for Disney World, but th this is part of it. Thanks, and have a great day. Everybody's switching over. They're pulling out their S12. They're pulling out their...